When progressing through PvE content, this is my current go-to team for Horde. I'm using Gromish as the leader. Gromish gives bloodlust to all nearby allies, drastically increasing their attack speed. I have the Bladestorm special talent, which allows him to do a quick little AoE. This takes out the chickens really quickly. I'm using the Dark Spear Troll with the Poison Attack. The Poison Attack ramps up a lot of damage with this guy. If he is left unchecked on a target, he will absolutely shred their HP. The Frostwell Shaman is on this team to help us with healing as well as some ranged capabilities to take out those flyers. Being able to keep your tank alive longer is really important, so having a healer in your party can help a lot. I'm a huge fan of the Skeleton Party here. The Skeleton Party, especially with its 5-man upgrade, is super fun. It spawns a tank, rogue, two mages, and a priest, so you got a whole party to be able to take out your opponents. It's got ranged capabilities, tanking, it does some backstab work, it's just a fantastic unbound unit, which means that you can drop it anywhere on the map, regardless of if you have a meeting point or a barracks. The Gargoyle is an interesting unit to use. It ignores everything except for barrackses and bosses. I use this thing as an awesome frontline tank, as well as a huge amount of damage onto the boss. An unchecked Gargoyle will absolutely decimate anything that is in its way. If you've been playing recently, especially in PvP, you might realize Blizzard is super strong. Blizzard is a fantastic spell. It costs 4, but it just rains down hell on the opponent and does so much damage. For a melee tank, I've got the Molten Giant right now. He's just so much health and armor, it takes forever for anybody to take him down. Back this guy up with that Frostwolf Shaman, and nobody's getting through its defenses. Figuring out what team works best for you in hard mode Warcraft Rumble is very important to progressing your account successfully. You need to clear each unique hard mode with each faction to be able to level up your characters at a decent rate. Hit me up down in the comments below telling me your combos for each of the different factions that you're finding successfully or climbing you through the ranks. And don't forget to click here for our next guide. I'm Sesty Fresh from Sons of Games, and we'll catch you guys next time.